This video was created on the traditional territories of the Blackfoot Confederacy, Siksika, Kainai, Pekani, Sutina, and the Yarhi Nakoda Nations, the Métis Nation Region 3, and all people who make their homes in the Treaty 7 region of Southern Alberta. Hello. Bonjour. Today we are at Ecole Percy Pegler School and we are going to be drawing portraits. And we are also going to be striving for excellence. En rue, vers l'excellence. So let's draw a portrait. Hi, I'm here with the uh, grade threes, Ms. McNeil's class at Percy Pegler School today. And today we are going to draw a uh, portrait. I'm gonna show the students how to do uh, a portrait uh, correctly. Okay, so um, the first thing that I'm going to do here is I have written the words terrible and I have written the word uh, portrait because I'm going to show you how not to do a portrait. You guys can just watch this. You don't need to draw a thing yet. Now, the first kind of uh, error that uh, someone does when they are drawing someone else's face is that they will draw a circle. And uh, none of our heads are shaped like that. Um, they are shaped like an oval, maybe even egg-shaped, but they are not shaped like that. The second, um, I would say, uh, mistake that uh, students make when they're uh, drawing a portrait is they will put huge eyes. Everyone seems to want to focus on eyes because they're so beautiful, but uh, when you do that, draw too much attention to the eyes, they overtake the image, okay? And you might put eyelashes on like that. Not, not a great look. The next thing that I notice a lot of students might do is they might do this huge smile like an emoji or a pumpkin and definitely uh, uh, faces don't look like that. They might even uh, take out a tooth. And uh, this is a common mistake. It's, uh, it, it looks almost silly to me is someone might, if they don't know how to, how to draw a nose correctly, they might put a couple holes in the, uh, in the face, which again, doesn't look that great. And if you really want to make this a terrible portrait, you would make a nose more like a pig, right? So that, so that doesn't look, that doesn't look tremendously accurate or flattering to uh, uh, someone. If you drew them this way, they would probably get upset with you, right? And then the hair, you know, people might just put hair on like that. They might do the ears like this. And they might do a neck like this. And uh, so I would say that that is a pretty terrible portrait. Okay, so we're not going to, uh, when we do our portraits today, I'm gonna show you a, maybe a little better way of, of doing that, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this terrible portrait. Toss it aside. Oh, are you okay? Did I hit you in the head? Sorry. <laughs> okay. Now, I uh, there's someone in the room here today that uh, I have taught their uh, mom. I have taught their uh, cousins. I have taught so many of uh, his family. So, Kale, I would like you to sit in that chair there, okay? Okay, so you're going to open uh, to a fresh page. And with your pencil, you're very, very lightly going to draw almost like an egg on, on its end. Okay, so almost like an egg. It's an oval, but it's kind of a pointy oval, right? Kind of a pointy oval. I want you to... to uh, when you're drawing that, I want you to draw it very lightly, this oval very lightly, okay? Okay, everybody's got kind of a, a light oval. That is wonderful. Yeah, that looks good. Looks good, you got it. If it's a little bit rounder, that's okay. 
Because when we are drawing, the younger the person, the rounder their face is going to be. If we were to paint a baby, it would be a little bit uh, rounder. So this is okay because you guys are in grade three. So uh, your face would probably be in this area. Okay, now very lightly with your pencil, you are going to divide this in half, just like fractions that I'm working on with uh, grade three, it's in half. So you're just gonna put a line, try and find the middle of it very lightly because you're gonna erase that line when we're done with your eraser, okay? At the very end. Now, the same thing, we're gonna go this way now. We're gonna find the very middle of the, of the, uh, of the line on here. And we're gonna do a light line this way, right through the middle of the oval, okay, like this. Again, we're going to look for the middle, or this is gonna be, the chin is gonna be down here. And this is gonna be where uh, the eyes are approximately. So right in the middle of here, we're gonna draw this little V. It's a V that's kind of like flattened V, like that, this much of a V, right here, right in the middle. And that would be, that would be like right in the middle with this line. And then we're gonna look in the middle again, and I'm just gonna have a little look at, uh, this is going to be the lip line. So I'm going to look at Kale's lips, the kind of the shape of his lips. And I'm going to do a little shadow right there. Okay, so we got a little lip. And then in between, we can do a lip line there. Okay, so right now we can kind of see the nose, the upper lip, and the lower lip just a little bit. And I told you about the nose holes. What you can do is you can kind of do a hook this way and a hook this way. And that's going to look like his, uh, like Kale's um, nostrils, right? Now, the other thing I'm going to do is usually a person, uh, if their mouth is this big, if you look at my mouth and you see it's this big, if I take a line and I go lightly, up, that's going to show me where approximately the center of Kale's eyes are going to be. So we can do a little bit of an eyeball here. And then I can do the lid. It's kind of like this. These are kind of like, uh, I don't know, these marks are kind of like that. And then I know that his eyebrows, I can see his eyebrows are about here and they're kind of like this and like this. Now the other thing uh, that you should know is that a person's ears are usually as long as their nose. So if you have a big nose like me, you're gonna have bigger ears. If you have a smaller, nose, you're going to have smaller ears. So the, these ears you can see are going to be over here. They're not going to stick way out. And with Kale's, we can't see because his hair is covering it. Okay. Now you might notice there's this huge space, this bald head here. And uh, what uh, we don't realize is that, or a common mistake that people make is they'll make this too small. And Actually, if you look at the person next to you, you can see that all of us have very large foreheads. We're so used to looking at each other, we don't realize how big our foreheads actually are. They are like dolphins. We, we actually walk around looking at each other. We don't realize how much we look like dolphins. We have massive foreheads, all of us. Looks very strange, but uh, fortunately uh, for you guys, most of you have a ton of hair. I used to have lots of hair like you too, and I wish that I could have it back, but it's not gonna happen. So uh, I'm going to give Kale uh, this hair, his hair, but before I do that, I can see his neck probably comes in about here, this far. And I can also see that his T-shirt 
makes this kind of shape. Okay? And his face is a little bit thinner through here, and his chin goes a little bit like this. Change his face a little bit. And this is kind of the fun part with the shading is what I can do is with his hair is uh, it kind of goes like this. It goes over his ear and it goes up here. You guys, I'm going to show you what that Kleenex is for, for in a minute. The Kleenex is not here uh, because you have a cold. The Kleenex is not here because uh, you're going to cry over your drawings. You're, I'll show you in a minute how that's going to help you with the uh, shading. Okay, so we got this great hair coming down here. And Kale's shoulders. Okay. At this point, I don't have an eraser. I'm using charcoal, so I'm not going to worry about it. But if you want to erase these lines now, if you want to erase all these lines on uh, Kale's face that were there for a map, you could do do that. You have to. No, but it it might uh, distract people when they look at your uh, portrait. They might think, well, what are those lines for, right? I can't really get rid of them because I'm using a big piece of charcoal for uh, the purposes of um, showing you what to do up here because it's darker, right? And I can do it fast. Now, um, you might wonder why I've uh, got this spotlight here and I'm lighting up kale from the side. And that's that reason that I'm doing that is I want to get some uh, nice shadows on his face. So uh, what I'm going to do is shading is just like coloring, but it's with a pencil and you're doing it with gray. So I can see the whole side of his face, Kale's face is kind of in gray here and also under his uh, chin and we can do his, his shirt and you could do his Under Armour logo, all that stuff later. And I've made him look a little bit older than he is. I've made him look more like a teenager because I, uh, I uh, didn't um, make the oval uh, as round as I should have. But anyway, this is the magic with your uh, this is the magic with your Kleenex right now. Okay, what you're gonna do is you can use this to make it uh, smoother. Anywhere where it's gray, you can make it gray, okay? And that's gonna make your shading look really uh, smooth, okay? The whole picture? Yeah, well, anywhere where you see where it's more gray on his face. So it's from the side, so you can see that it's kind of gray. And then uh, you're gonna go like that. Okay. Okay, so we have kind of a, a face and, and so, uh, Kale, how do I spell your name, by the K. way? K, yeah. H. H. K. A. H. 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 L. L. E. E. Perfect. Okay, so I would say, I would say uh, that I don't want to brag or anything, but I'm going to say that that is not a terrible portrait. I'm going to say that that is a good good portrait. And uh, so today let's... <laughs> Why are you throwing pine cones at me?